let's talk SiteScan mission planning. SiteScan offers a variety of options for your specific use case. For this video, we'll be going over the area survey feature, which can cover a lot of ground quickly and accurately. To create a flight plan, click the area survey icon. On the map, draw the area you want to fly. You can add points on the perimeter and drag the whole area around. Remember to map an area five to 10% larger than you need. This will help with map post-processing later on. Once you're happy with your survey area, set up your flight altitude. SightScan gives default settings, which usually work well. If you're doing more advanced missions, you may need to adjust these again in a minute based on camera settings. Make sure to set your RTL altitude and check that this will clear any obstacles you may be flying around. Let's talk camera settings. For the best results, we want crisp, sharp images. SightScan provides defaults for daylight and low light, as well as the option for manual settings. If you're adjusting the settings manually, we want a fast shutter speed to remove motion blur from the image. Anything over one one thousandth of a second works well. Set the storage mode to the USB stick. We want to save photos there so we can access them later on the iPad. For the sharpest images, an aperture of above f5 is recommended. Set the ISO to auto so the images will be exposed properly. Front overlap of 70% works well, and side overlap of 65% is a great starting point. The more 3D your terrain, the more overlap we suggest for your missions. Pro tip, bright daylight is the best time to survey. With more light, you can increase the shutter speed and fly faster to cover more ground. Now we can check our mission. On the bottom of your screen, check the ground sample distance. If you need more accuracy, change the altitude of your flight plan or use a longer lens. Preview the 3D model of your flight plan. Make sure you'll have clear line of sight to the aircraft during the mission and the drone won't hit any obstacles. If your mission requires multiple sets of batteries, Astro will return to you and allow you to hot swap the batteries. It'll then pick up where it left off. We'll talk more about this feature when we fly Astro.